Cumulative returns help us answer the following question. Imagine that we invested $1,000 at the beginning of the year. How much more money do we have now? How richer or poorer are we compared to when we started our investment? In this video, we look at how to calculate cumulative returns and how to plot them in an Excel graph in such a way that we can have a look at how our investment is evolving over time. So the very first thing to do is to search for the Nasdaq on Yahoo Finance. The ticker is NDX. Immediately, we land on this summary page where we can see the price today and also the deviation for today. But what we're interested in is the historical data. So click on that. By default, the time period will always be one year into the past. But for this analysis, I'm interested in the year to date. So um, an investment period that goes from the first day of the current year up until today. Click on apply and then just after click on download. This will download a comma separated value, which is a very similar format to an Excel spreadsheet. So we can definitely work with that. Now you see that we have a lot of financial data. So we have the price uh, when the market opens, the highest price of the day, the lowest price of the day, the closing price, the adjusted closing price and the volume. We're only interested in one of these columns, which is column E. So you can delete everything else. It's just not important for this analysis. So get rid of it, delete all the columns, and we are left with the date and the closing price. So for each date, what was the price of the NASDAQ as at the end of the trading day, which is around 4 p.m. That's when the market closes. The first thing we have to do is to calculate the daily returns. How do we calculate the daily returns? This is not difficult at all. We have to take the price on the 3rd of Jan, we have to divide by the price on the 2nd of Jan, and then we have to subtract 1. In this way, we are comparing the price on the 3rd with the price of exactly the same thing, but the day before. And then we subtract 1 to have the percentage variation change, which for the first um, um, trading day of the year was minus 88 basis points. You can drag everything until the end or even better double click when you see that the cursor becomes a black, a thin black arrow and that will fill automatically the series for you. Just make sure uh, by going to your um, last data point that you don't have a minus one. You, you will have it because it fills automatically but just delete it, otherwise uh, it will um, give you very weird results. It will uh, screw up your analysis. You don't want that, so just delete it. And um, now we have to calculate the cumulative returns. So in another column, in column D, type uh, the title at the top, cumulative returns. Let's start um, with $1,000, as I said before, but you can put whichever amount you want. And then um, in the cell D3, reference this thousand initial investment and then multiply by open bracket one plus whatever the return was on the previous day. So we are taking a thousand dollars and we are multiplying it by a factor which is made of one plus whatever the return, the daily return was on the previous day. So as I said before, the return on the previous day was minus 88 basis point. 88 basis point as a percentage of a thousand is equal to almost $9. And that's why you will see that now our investment on the 3rd of Jan has decreased to 991.2. We have lost during our first day in the year of trading $8. How do we calculate this? Well, now we just have to drag the formula or as I did before, uh, go to the corner, wait for the cursor to become a thin black arrow, double click and Excel will automatically fill the series for you. 
So we start with 1,000 and we end up with 1,248.95 cents. The last thing to do is to plot this graph because I want to see how my return has evolved over time. So I click on recommended chart and is the second one from the top. This is um, a nice line that shows that we start with a thousand, then we lose uh, during the uh, quarter one drawdown up until uh, our initial investment becomes 800, but then we make it back and we actually um, turn a profit as of today. How exactly, how much is this profit is roughly 25%. And we can calculate it by taking the very last um, value, uh, which is 1,200, etc., and dividing it by the initial amount. So this is important. The cumulative return over the whole investment period is very last value divided by initial value minus one, and is exactly 25%. That was everything for today. I hope that you found this video useful. If that's the case, share it with your friends, with people that might be interested in it and like it if you feel that you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe as I'm going to put more of this material regarding Excel, regarding Bloomberg in the coming weeks. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.